Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Alright, let's get into XRP a little. Quite a bit of technical and, more importantly, announcement-related optimistic news, so, a few knowledgeable individuals have asked, what am I referring to? This video is going to be my attempt to explain everything in detail. You can stay updated on anything happening in the XRP world by subscribing to the channel and giving it a like. After we get everything out of the way, we can go right into this video. Looking at the whole market cap as of right now, 1.64 trillion, up slightly from Sunday, we can only hope that things improve from here. The disparity is growing, but it may soon narrow, since XRP is now only behind Solana by almost $10 billion. It won't be long until XRP outperforms the market as a whole by around 1.8%. On the bright side, we're 721 billion, which is an improvement of over 100 billion above our average weekend performance. At the moment, the market cap is 30 billion. So, what exactly am I referring to? In a moment, we will examine the details. The SEC does, however, provide us with some announcements. For those who may have forgotten, the SEC is requiring Ripple to prepare audited financial statements for 2022 and 2023. The reason for their determination that XRP sales on that secondary market constitute a security is what they are seeking to uncover. That is the source of the enormous sum of $7 billion, which the SEC intended to use, but which Ripple has now disproved. Absolutely not, they've stated. This is an irrational demand, because it has nothing to do with employment, honesty, or the quantity of XRP sold to institutions through the complaints filing for specific contracts, SEC, and Ripple, have both said categorically that it does not. The fact that they aren't integral to it is, in my opinion, crucial. In a recent tweet, James K., a former federal prosecutor who keeps followers up to date on Ripple's progress, revealed that the company has responded to the SEC's motion to compel with this brief, which raises an important argument. Again, Brad Garland House isn't shy about telling Gary Gensler how he really feels about him and how much of a political liability he is. By the way, it is a quotation straight from the past Hauser, which is intriguing since that is about to happen. Everyone wants an XRP, whether they agree with the idea or not, and when we speak about regulation, it's obviously all about Ripple. It's incredibly significant because of what may happen in the future. Also, the success or failure of the ETFs is subjective. If it weren't for Grayscale, those exchange-traded funds ETFs, would have been successful, as they currently hold assets worth over $4 billion. If my prediction were correct, the price of a Bitcoin would be around $50,000. A significant change in the storyline has occurred, nevertheless, in light of recent tweets and news reports. To be sure, an ETF is what we're after. No, we do not want an ETF, and he concludes by saying that the government's reaction to the XRP community on January 18 was rapid. The revelation comes after BlackRock's CEO made vague, recent comments on a possible XRP ETF, which is interesting in and of itself. Clearly, the principle and one that we've discussed several times will make things a lot simpler to go through. What matters most, in my opinion, is that BlackRock has not made any firm announcements regarding an XRP ETF at Gasper was the American journalist revealed late last week that they believe lacked in-depth knowledge of XRP, which is why he gave Casper a non-committal answer when he asked about a possible BlackRock ETF. This comes after Rana was informed by individuals with first-hand knowledge of the matter that the investment firm has launched an XRP ETF. Last but not least, a Fox Business CD journalist was also engaged, and they had lengthy conversations regarding possible outcomes. Last but not least, XRP does not intend for such to happen at any time. I think they have to settle for these Bitcoin ETFs, then the fairing ones, and then we will see an XRP and Solana. Pretty interesting news with that ripple against SEC, no ETF at the moment, so it shows what the price is. The reality here is that it wouldn't go ahead, but that doesn't mean it's not on the shopping list, on the card, or that it won't come in the future. Additionally, I wanted to highlight a noteworthy chart event. The MACD has just crossed the signal line, indicating a bearish trend, which could lead to a nice breakout. Take a look at the subsequent movement on XRP for confirmation. 
quite intriguing. In early December, we saw the same thing, and now we're seeing it again, which may mean something significant this week for XRP's price. Great increase, but we're also above the 200-day moving average. The most essential thing right now is that the market can sustain its current position, since XRP has a good chance of breaking out. The cryptocurrency market has had a rough few days, but I still see XRP as having good potential, the charts and technicals give us the impression that this could happen sooner than you think. If you agree or disagree, please share your thoughts in the comments section. What are your thoughts on the potential benefits of an XRP ETF? Also, what do you think XRP will be worth this week? Everything changed today. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Catch you later, farewell.